So now let's have a look that how we can use the Tailwind CSS with the Next.js. So we'll be installing the Tailwind with the Next.js. So we'll be using the Next.js, which is a React full stack framework. So the Tailwind CSS works flawlessly with the React and the Next.js. And you can use that with any other frameworks as well. Like other frameworks can be a solid JS. So you can use that for the vanilla JavaScript as well. Like for the Vue.js, you have the Remix as well. So you can use the Tailwind with any other frameworks as well. Any other framework or library with that. So let's have a look at how we can install the Tailwind. So I'll be moving on to the Tailwind CSS homepage. So we have the tailwindcss.com and this is the official site of the Tailwind. And then you can see rapidly build the modern websites without ever leaving your HTML. So it directly applies the styles to your HTML. So you can see here we have an example that you have the styles like you have the screen sizes like the medium, you have the flex property for the medium screen sizes and you have some styles like the BG slate. It means the background and you have the text LG. It means the large property of the text like it will increase your text size. And then you have a lot of options as well, like text sky 100. So every color inside the tailwind provides you nine options starting from the 100 to the 900. So you can use them according to your requirement. And then you can see you have some best practices, your APIs and so many things with that. So let's click on the get started to install the tailwind. So if you are using the vanilla JavaScript, then the process is again very simple. So you need to install the tailwind inside that. So you need the Node.js as well before that. And if you do not have the Node.js installed, then you can move on to the Node.js.org and you can install the Node.js and the process is very simple and straightforward. So, and then you need to initialize a Tailwind CSS with that. And once you run the init command of the Tailwind CSS, then it creates the Tailwind config.js file, which is the configuration file, which allows you to have some customization and configuration with the Tailwind. And you can extend the theme of the Tailwind as well. You can use your own theme here. And then finally, you need to add these three properties of the Tailwind into your CSS file. So into your CSS file, you need to add at the Tailwind base, at the Tailwind components and at the Tailwind utilities. So the base provides you all base classes. The components provide you some of the components that you can use with the Tailwind. And then with the utilities, then you have the utility classes with the Tailwind. And then you can build that Tailwind as well with this. And then you can just use with the Tailwind with your HTML file. But we'll be using the Next.js with that. So we'll be moving on into the framework guides. And there you can see you have a lot of frameworks that you can use. You have the Create React app as well. You can have the White as well. You can have the Next.js. You have to have the Next.js. We have the White. We have the Laravel, Angular as well, the Solid.js as well. So you can use on any framework. So the Tailwind is same on any other framework as well. So we can move on and we can click on the Next.js. And you can see here we have the page of install the Tailwind with the Next.js. And then first we need to create a new Next.js app. So we'll be using the Next.js version 13.2, which is the official version of the Next.js with using the Tailwind. So let's start and first let's create a Next.js application. So I've opened a folder in the VS Code and you can do the same. So you can move on into the terminal, select a new terminal from there. And then what you can do, so you can move on and you can run the command of the NPX. You can have the create dash next dash app. And then you can add the latest flag as well to install the latest version like the latest and then you can add the typescript flag as well so you can have the dash dash you can have the typescript and then you can hit enter and then after hitting enter you will be having this project name so you can move on and delete that undefined and you can use the my app like this so you can have the my app and then would you like to use the eslint with this project so we can click on the yes and then would you like to use the source directory? So we'll be using the no because we'll be using the main app directory with the next yes. So we can click on the no. And then would you like to use the experimental app directory? So we can click on the yes. So we'll be using the app directory here. So import alias, you can use the at the rate as well. So you can by default click on the enter and then what it will do. So it will now install a couple of dependencies and it will initialize your new next yes application within a moment. So let it install and let it create a next yes application. So the new Next.js app has been initialized and now we can move on into the app directory. So here you can see here we have the page file as well. So this is the route file of this main route, like the local host port of the 3000. So this is the route file for this. And now we can move on to the Tailwind. So here we have the Tailwind and now we need to install the Tailwind CSS. So we need to install these three development dependencies. So we'll be using the Tailwind inside the development because the Tailwind works inside the development. And then once we create our application, once we build that, so it will compile all of those styles inside the CSS file of our application. So we do not need to install the Tailwind inside the bundle because it uses the CSS utility classes. So what it will do, so it will just create a CSS file for all of these classes. 
So we can move on and we can just run this command npm install dash d. So we'll be running this command. So before that, you need to move on into the directory of the my app. Then you can run this command. And after it will install these three dependencies, then you can move on and you can initialize the Tailwind CSS as well. So you can run this command as well and px Tailwind CSS init dash p. And there you can see after running this command, it will create two new files inside your project directory. The first will be the Tailwind config, which includes your configuration files with the Tailwind. And then it creates a post CSS configuration as well. So we are all done with that and now the next step you can see now we need to configure the template paths so we need to tell the tailwind that where it will find the files like here you can see inside the content we can have the app directory as well we can have the pages as well we can have the components as well and then we can have the source as well so we need to tell the paths to the tailwind like where it will find the javascript or the typescript files so what we can do so we can move on and we can copy that we can copy the whole file and then we can move on into the tailwind we can paste that here so here you can see here we are using the app directory so we won't be using the source so we can remove the source as well we won't be using the pages as well so we can remove the pages because here we'll be using only the app directory with the next.js and inside the app directory inside even the nested files even in the more nested files if it finds the js file or ts file or the jsx or the tsx file so it will add the typescript support to these files so it's saying this and now we can move on and then you can see finally now inside the globals.css file now we need to add these three lines of code inside that so we can copy that and then we can move on into that so we can move on into the globals.css and there we can remove everything we can just write these three styles over there we have the tailwind for the base and then we have the tailwind for the components tailwind for the utilities and now we can move on and everything is done from our end and then finally we can just run our application with the npm run dev so we can move on and we can run this application with the npm run dev you can see the steps are very simple so you can see the experimental warning and these are some warnings that you need to ignore and then you can see the server is open on the port of the 3000 so now we can move on with the server so here we go here we have the server running on the port of the 3000 so we have the get starting by adding this 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 and now we can move on and there inside the page.tsx then we can remove everything that we do not want we can remove the whole main as well we can remove that and then we can remove all of the things from there we do not need that we can remove this font as well as of now so now we have the export default function home and inside the home what we can do so we can just return a div with the hello world inside that so we can have the hello world so we do not have anything so we'll be starting everything from the complete scratch and now to use the tailwind first you need to move on to the extensions and there and you can install the tailwind css intellisense so it provides you the auto completion with writing the tailwind css styles so now we can move on so you can install that and then you can move on to the page file and there you can see if you want to apply some styles to this div you can provide the class name like this so we can have the class name and inside that if you will press control and the space so you get all of these styles that you can provide so you can see these styles are there from the tailwind so you can provide these styles like this and if you want just the font size to be increased like you can have the text to excel so you can have the text to excel and then you can see if you will just save if we'll move on to the application so now we have the hello world inside that and then you can see if i open the chrome window here and then you can see if i provide the one excel and then you can see now the text size is smaller and then you can see if i provide the two then you can see now the text style is bigger so you can see now the tailwind css is working fine so now we have successfully initialized the tailwind css inside the next js application so now let's move on and let's just learn about the tailwind step by step